Hundreds of people, including small children, waiting in long lines outside Florida immigration offices. Many waiting two or three days, even sleeping outside, all to see an immigration official. And all recently arrived from countries like Haiti, Cuba, and Venezuela. News Nation senior national correspondent Brian Enton is live in Orlando. And Brian, this is one of multiple cities seeing these massive lines. Yeah, it is, Nicole. And this is something I think Americans don't realize is going on. You know, we see a lot of video from the border, but this is what it looks like outside many of our immigration offices. You take a look behind me. Uh, these are all migrants from literally all over the world. And keep in mind, Nicole, uh, this immigration office in Orlando, this office closed like two or three hours ago. So these people will be out here all night long. You can see there's little kids out here and they basically camp out. It's like this every single night. They all came across the border at the U.S.-Mexico border, and now they are here at the immigration offices hoping to check in. This isn't the U.S.-Mexico border. This is Orlando, Florida. Hundreds of migrants are lined up outside the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement Office. They're from all over the world. Where are you from? No, no, no English. No, they don't hear us. Venezuela. Venezuela. Cuba. Cuba. El Salvador. El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Creole. So you're from Haiti? Uh, Venezuela. Venezuela. Mm -hmm. Many of the migrants say they crossed the U.S. Mexico border and were given a notice to check in with immigration. So now they are here waiting. Miramar, ICE. And it's not just Orlando. Look at this line at the ICE office in Miami. It goes on and on and on. Viviana Linerix is here from Venezuela. She says immigration officers put this ankle monitor on her and she is in line to check in and have it removed. And how did you come to America? I crossed the border. Uh, that's uh, in Mexicali, Mexicali, Arizona. Okay, the Mexico, Arizona. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how did you get to Florida? I, I, I took, I went to Phoenix and then I took a flight to here to Orlando. Viviana has been waiting since 6.30 in the morning and plans to camp out. We saw lots of other migrants also with ankle monitors. A recording on loop plays from this loudspeaker. Unfortunately, there is a chance that we may not be able to see everyone who reports to this location daily. We'll process as many people as we can, but eventually we'll reach our capacity for the day. I sent us a statement that says U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement is working to address current processing delays at the Orlando ICE office. Non-citizens that were recently apprehended by U.S. Customs and Border Protection along the southwest border and given a notice to report or parole must check in with ICE after arriving at their destination. They don't have the capability to receive all these people that has been scheduled. And of course, the um, immigrants, they are afraid. They don't want to miss their appointments. So they are trying to do everything they can to make sure that they get that, that, that they get to be seen by the immigration officer. It's pretty obvious when you're out here that this is an immigration system that was uh, already stressed and is now just totally overloaded. Many of these people have been out here for 24 hours, some even more than that. Uh, again, they will sleep out here tonight, hoping to get a chance to get to go inside tomorrow uh, and have an appointment with the immigration office. Nicole? Yeah, I'll try to do it the right way. Okay, Brian, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.